Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to program the linear regression uh, by using MATLAB Octave. The linear regression means to fit a set of data by using a straight line. So if we have data points, as we see here, uh, obtained from physical or statistical experiment, so we can fit these points with a straight line having the equation y equals to a plus bx. Now, the idea here is to find the uh, coefficients a and b. So we have here two equations or two formulae uh, in order to uh, use the idea of the uh, least squares method. So we have squares of x here and multiple, multiply, multiplication of xi and yi. And also we have the uh, square of mean value of x here. So we notice these two formulas are based on the method of least squares method. So uh, in the, these formulae, the uh, values of x bar and y bar, which are the mean values, can be obtained uh, simply by finding the arithmetic average of or arithmetic mean of uh, the given data pairs of x, i, and uh, y, i, where i uh, starts from 1 to n. That means includes the whole number of given data points. So uh, actually, there's nothing more than applying the, these two formulae in order to apply, uh, or to, in order to find the coefficients a and b, and then we will get the uh, straight line equation or the curve fitting. This is actually very helpful for the students, especially because uh, in many experimental uh, or uh, in the courses of uh, experimental nature, um, many times if these are to be done manually, it sometimes it becomes very difficult to find exactly the line which passes through the uh, most of the given points or balance the uh, given data points above and beneath the uh, required straight line. Now, uh, let's uh, solve this uh, example uh, by using the uh, code. So uh, we'll try to make uh, a MATLAB Octave code by using two uh, methods. The first method is by using the traditional for loop for the summations and the uh, averages. So let's go to the uh, editor and see how can we do this by using the traditional or the uh, conventional for loop. So uh, first, we should define the uh, Met the arrays, given arrays, or the given uh, data pairs in two X and Y uh, arrays. Then we should compute the number of data points by using the function length. So the function length of X will give us the N value. Then we will initialize the uh, summation variables. This is very important. This initial values always, uh, if you if you follow my uh, videos about the numerical analysis by using MATLAB Octave, you'll notice that every time we, uh, every time I use uh, a summation variable, always uh, it should be initialized with uh, zero, uh, except some. Uh, uh, rare cases where it could be initialized with another value, but generally the summation variables should be initialized by zero. Now, let's show, I will show you the formulae in order to use it as a guide in, in, in coding. So here we should start our loop. So First, we start our loop i, where i from 1 to n. So simply, uh, 
uh, just we apply the, the the loop of i we don't need to use multiple loops because notice that uh, all variables here x sub i y sub i x square sub i all these values are subscripted with i and i goes from 1 to n so we don't need multiple uh, loops only one loop is enough to compute the uh, required summations now first we get the uh, summation of x so we call it sum x uh, sum x equals sum x plus xi so actually uh, this is summation of xi values also sum x2 indicates to the square values so uh, here we uh, we have the sum of the uh, squares of x values as you see here so this is the summation of uh, squared x values here in the numerator and denominator first term and we have in the denominator of the second uh, of, of b equation so then we also compute the sum of multiply or multiplied x and uh, y values every x i and y i values so also the sum y the summation of y component every year see it because this needed we need it in the notation of the uh, b co coefficient b now we close the loop and find at the end of the loop we'll get the whole uh, required summations to compute the uh, coefficients now we need also the average values so the average x m x mean is the sum of x over n and y mean is the sum of y values over n so in this case we can get the uh, values of uh, mean values finally just we uh, print or type the equation exactly as of a exactly so if we have y mean multiplied by sum x squared minus x mean multiplied by the sum of x i y i over uh, summation of x square minus n multiplied by the square of the mean values so we get the mean we square it and we get the same way we do with b so we'll get same equation here so we have some uh, x i y i minus x mean multiplied by the sum of y terms over the summation of x uh, i square terms minus uh, n multiplied by the uh, mean values of x now we print print out the result so it will be the straight line equation will be and here we print f of x equals to the value of a plus uh, the value of b this uh, is for this format helps us in uh, to uh, uh, understand the position or let's say the uh, equation in the final uh, form now let's run the code here now we have the answer the straight line equation f of x equals to minus 28.305 plus 9.086x so this is the equation of the straight line by using the simple uh, for loop the uh, second method in uh, creating the script of linear regression is to use MATLAB octave built-in statistical functions sum and mean so these functions are built in already are uh, defined in uh, MATLAB and Octave so we can use them 
directly. Let's see uh, how to apply them in the uh, code. So at the beginning, okay, we defined, defined the X and Y uh, arrays, and we uh, also compute the value of n or get the value of n by using the function length. So now we just directly, we don't need here any initialization, any loop directly because these two functions will compute the uh, value of the, uh, let me, okay, will compute the values of the sum and mean directly, so we don't need any kind of uh, loops or uh, initial values and so on. So directly we have, uh, again, let me go to the formally and show you the uh, exact application of the formally. So here we see that A is mean Y, so this is the mean y function multiplied by sum of x squares. Here we should notice something important. Here we use the dot power operator of MATLAB uh, because here we want to uh, rise every single element uh, to the power 2. So here, this is a by element operation. That means every single or every element individually in the array x should be raised to the power 2. So that's why we use dot uh, power operator here. Minus by mean x multiplied by sum. Again, here also we'd use dot uh, multiplication or dot uh, star operator in order to multiply every uh, individual x element by the uh, individual y element having the same index. Again, we here divide, we have the den denominator here, is the sum of the uh, x squares minus n multiplied by the mean value. And here we, uh, we have mean value squared as we see in the formula. So we uh, directly uh, implemented the uh, formula to the uh, MATLAB octave code. Similarly, we use the same idea by uh, B, so we can compare it here directly, the same sum, summation, and using the mean in order to obtain the formula of B. Now, as we did uh, previously, we use the same print f printf functions in order to uh, obtain or to uh, have the results printed in the command uh, window. Now, let's run the code and see the result. Again, we have the same result exactly uh, that obtained by using the uh, simple four uh, loops. So now we can uh, see the result. If we plot the uh, resultant equation, uh, we will get this uh, shape as you see here. So this is the method uh, that we can use in order to uh, obtain the straight line equation that fits a set of uh, experimental or uh, statistical uh, data. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for coming videos.